Hello and welcome back. In this in this short lecture, we're going to learn about AD Connect, how to set it up, and we're going to download and install AD Connect from our on-premises server, and we start the synchronization to our Azure Cloud. To begin with, uh, if you can go back to Azure Active Directory, in this Active Directory, Azure Active Directory Blade, you have something called AD Connect. You can check this, and the status, if you can see here, it was never sync and it was never configured and this is the status it's going to be changed once we have configured our ad connect so to install or uh, ad connect uh, ad connect can be installed on any of the member server it's not recommended to install on your domain controller or if you have any of the server as a member server is a uh, member server you can install on that server as the ad connect and then follow these steps so in my case i'm going to install on my active directory server so i'll just copy this link and start downloading on my server so i'm just i'm sorry wrong entry yeah it's going to be download here ad connect so if you Google as AD Connect also it comes up. So I'm simply saving this, which is a 90 MB. It should be in any minute. It's downloaded. I'm gonna run that. So here uh, to start this AD Connect, I mean the installation is very straightforward. It's one step to install. Once you install, you would have this uh, visit will start prompting you or you can double click this visit to again start this entire visit whenever you feel you wanted to do it so let's uh, agree the terms and conditions and I'm gonna choose as the Express if you are uh, trying to do the custom yeah feel free to you know go for the custom by going to the custom you can go for a standard SQL server the standard SQL uh, for example if you're anyway if you're in the production definitely you would be doing on a member server so on that member server you can install sql server and configure that database specific database so that you will have uh, properly storing the required all the uh, sql database uh, for this synchronization purpose now uh, i'll just go back and i'll just continue with the install which is nothing but uh, if i try to use the express settings or if i don't take anything it's going to install just the express edition i mean express uh, settings that's it so uh, that would happen once it is uh, completed it's going to be uh, prompting for me if not uh, we have to do some other additional settings especially for uh, how what kind of you know synchronization password should be synced like hash synchronization should be done so that uh, further uh, level of uh, configuration can be done to configure there are two accounts is uh, two accounts are required one would be your global account uh, which is uh, from intune other one would be the enterprise admin uh, so those two accounts I'm gonna uh, require and I will be inputting for this increase in purpose Now the installation is completed and it is asking me what kind of a uh, user sign-in you are looking for it So I can choose the required one uh, would be the password hash signature and single sign-in I'm enabling that means it's going to be configure SSO that means uh, on, on on premises or maybe on the wherever the user is there if the user have that user credentials it's not going to be prompt once again that same password again and again that's the uh, key in fact you can check out here uh, this option enables users on the corporate network especially uh, to get login into the uh, cloud-based authentication also would work in fact that's the main advantage let's go and take it and this is where uh, it is asking for the global administration credentials that needs to be entered in this case I'm going to enter here as my um, global administrator account which is padded into 992 on microsoft.com and with my password once I enter it's going to discover and it's going to be verified uh, post to that I would be uh, promoted to the sync option this is where I'm going to sync what are the only or use you want to sync up or you want to sync any additional things to be synced up uh, but before you sync you need to connect your uh, connect to your on-premises active directory so you need to supply global admin uh, the, in this case it's not the global so you need to give enterprise admin so that's what I'm gonna uh, give it here so I'm gonna add here you have the two options so simply I can click on here and here I can give my account uh, which is going to be my 
administrator account which has the uh, permissions uh, my lab dot that's an account uh, it's going to verify whether this ha account has the enterprise account permissions or not then it's going to give this uh, forest name that's it it's going to connect to that and it's going to retrieve it it might take some time so it says that hey you you have already verified omnia.com which is available on your intune or in your office 365 term and all took it so let's have a look on it i'll show you that um so what it is trying to say is here under domains i have found this specific omnia.com domain and it is verified can i use that uh, because based on your supplied information with the global admin this is what i'm finding so is that okay yeah definitely and definitely i have not uh, uh, found anything on the azure ad nothing related to my lab.local so that's fine so from azure active directory you're going to sync up with verified domain which is omnia.com in this case so that's it uh, that would uh, let's take this checkbox to continue with the matching all upns uh, with the matching name as omnio.com would sync up and now this is where if you are more explicitly wanted to sync up only specific ous you can do that otherwise you can sync up everything so in my case i'm just going for everything let's point i would change it but as a recommendation you would be normally uh, syncing up with only required ous in this case maybe a pack only because in the pack you have the proper computers and the users that's how so in my case i'm uh, clicking on next with the all selection but in your case uh, you can select the required only OUs, click on next and proceed further uh, this is where it's gonna uh, asking me uniquely identifying for users so i'm gonna give that uh, how you are going to be uniquely identified it's going to be based in sids definitely and uh, that's what it's gonna uh, automatically detect that mechanism let's click on next and that would um, ask me to synchronize all the users and the devices or only specific criteria uh, in your case so in my case i'm going to uh, sync everything so uh, i'll just click on next for the that's what i'm going to do it now and uh, here uh, it's very important point here uh, need to understand about uh, right back option so if you choose the password right back option the passwords which are synced um, from your on-premises to the cloud remain same for example if a user uh, changes his password in on cloud maybe for example and then if you try to log into on-premises it immediately when it's replicated it uh, it would accept that password because that's what a right a back option similarly if you if a user changes his password on on-premises it also uh, automatically uh, replicated to the cloud and then the same password can be used so this is the advantage uh, by taking the password write back option so I'm going to choose that because definitely that is more advantageous uh, if I choose that so click on next and then it's gonna uh, ask me for uh, here the options uh, additional options like uh, it's I think it's hang okay I need to enter here the uh, credentials uh, in this case the enterprise admin credentials or the sync uh, related credentials so I'm going to give that uh, account details here and then once I give the uh, details it's going to be uh, configured and sync that might take maybe another five ten minutes uh, so I'm simply um, syncing a uh, post to this installation automatically I'm actually fast forwarding this entire synchronization process uh, so that it saves our time and this might not take much time uh, in fact maybe another a minute or so and once this configuration is done we can uh, uh, open up uh, whenever we want again uh, if you want to change some kind of configuration you can always open this as your ad connect and configure the required changes so once it, this synchronization started we can go back to intune portal and check whether these accounts has been uh, created or not similarly you can also check on your on-premises too a uh, few of the accounts gets uh, a uh, new account would be added and that gets automatically uh, used for the syncing purpose.